Hello, my dear friends. This is Dr. Muhammad Imran Qureshi. I thought uh, we can learn about a software which is very handy tool for all researchers, especially who are dealing with the systematic literature review and meta analysis. It's very important for us to to draw our uh, result in the form of figures and diagram, which I have already explained many times. So what we can do, we can use different software and the tools that can assist us in developing or drawing a different type of the diagrams that can help us representing our ideas in the different forms. So that's where I'm going through this software, uh, Miro. It is very useful uh, software, not only just for researcher, but it is also allow you to collaborate with your team members, brainstorm your ideas. So that is very important feature in the Miro as well, but it is also handy for drawing your uh, frameworks or your uh, mind maps and all this. So there are many features available for this uh, Miro. So how you can do that, you can just go to this website, Miro.com. It is uh, available for downloading in the Windows and Mac version as well, and also available on online platforms there. So today we'll be working on the online platform. So this is the Miro website, so Miro.com. So you can just go here and click on the sign up. If you want to log in through your Gmail account, so go ahead and click here and sign up with Gmail. But here, if I'm interested to I'm just registering myself to the software and once it's done, it will send me a six digit code, which I can, I am receiving on my email. And once I put the six digit code, the system will allow me to log it. So here is my code. Okay, now you can see that the system already signed up and now I can use this software for. So the first thing is they, they asked me for set up a team. If I'm uh, having team with the multiple people or the researcher from different background, if they are working together, they can use this uh, Miro as a whiteboard and where they can all collaborate and input their idea. So I'm just taking it for personal and just giving it my role. It's for example, operation. Okay. I might be a business owner or director. Okay. So company size. Yes. So have we used? Yes, I have used. And more about. Okay. So once we register, we can send invitation to our team member so I'm here sending an email to okay now this is the interface where I can uh, work on my diagrams and different form of uh, workflows okay so the main idea is to work for research and design go from the idea to prototype on one infinite uh, canvas mapping where we can explain the different concepts and agile workflow, meeting workshops, uh, have a different form of these uh, options available. So I'm just going to try this tool. So that's why I just skip this option and just go to the uh, Miro main uh, dashboard. Now you can see this is the Miro's uh, main dashboard where we have a bunch of options and we can work on each of them. So if we can use Miro to start from scratch or we can use from some available template. So here you can see that 
there are different templates available. If you can see any of these are related with your work, so you can just go ahead and click on that and then you can use your. So now I'm logged in to the Miro software and here I have uh, different options. Uh, you can see this is where I can collaborate with my team member. These are my team members if I want to check and if there is any specific group which I'm uh, working together with other people, it, it, it's available here. And these are my recent dashboards where I uh, have uh, done some work. This software, it can be used in, in multiple ways, especially if I divide it into two important features. The first one is I can work alone and I can mind map my ideas here I can develop pictures, figures, diagrams here and bring a few uh, other options from other uh, platforms, for example, bringing or importing different pictures or figures of all this. Okay, So this is for individual working, but it allows us to work with the team members where we can work together and the team members, they are posting their ideas. For example, if you can see here, this is a group which I'm using and in this group, this is our whiteboard where uh, different people have their own different ideas and they posted it in the uh, boxes. So with a new dashboard, so I'm just working with that group which I have just created with my other account. So I'm just creating a new board and when I click here, so it asks me how you want to create your uh, new uh, board. Either you want to upgrade your uh, free version to the paid one. So I'm not interested in that. So let me create a simple collaborative whiteboard. So once I'm done, so this is the platform where we starting our work and different features are available. Uh, for me to work in collaboration. And that's also one of the best features in the uh, Miro software. It gives me different options for type of collaborative whiteboards I'm planning to use. For example, these are different features, very, very simple options, which is very commonly understandable. So I'm going to use this one today. Uh, this one is if, if, if we are working, for example, a product roadmap or anything related to different rows and columns that I can use this product roadmap. If I'm working with the flow chart, this is where I can use this. If I'm working with the mind maps, with the brainstorming or with the clusters, so that is where I can use this mind map. And also, uh, these are different uh, bunch of options which I can do. But here, uh, you can understand more about these in these uh, templates, okay, where uh, you have different features available. For example, I'm using this one. I, it looks very good. So let's uh, check on this one. So this is a very simple template, and now it is available for all my team members to work and to collaborate with. Okay, so for example, if I want ideas from different people, I can just click here and nominate each of these different people and then they can just uh, upload their idea. So they will be seeing the same version of this software the way I'm, I'm looking at in my screen. Okay, so and they can uh, access all these uh, different uh, columns and fields and they can edit and work together on this. Okay, so that is very simple. If I want to write something on this, I need to double click here and then it will give me different options for writing different and then uh, I can edit this writing in, in the way I want. Okay, so this is a very simple and handy tool for uh, mind mapping. Okay, and but this is also uh, the feature which we can use uh, in drawing different types of the uh, frameworks, different types of the brainstorming the idea representation in graphical form. It looks very beautiful in our research articles as well. But, <clears throat> but this is not just for uh, drawing my uh, concept here, but it is also gives us opportunity to collaborate with different team members and uh, researchers who are uh, 
you know, uh, working in the different regions. So we can just collaborate and use this whiteboard within our in team meeting within our Zoom meeting, and it allow us to integrate with many many different uh, form of the options. Okay, so if I want to present, it this is my presentation mode, and it will give me option to remove all other uh, features or all other columns from here. So once I stop this presentation, it will appear again. So I can go for video chats and I can also go for a simple chat so let's click on the chat option now this is the chat option which while you are working and in, in parallel you can discuss your ideas with your uh, friends and the team member hi so now you can see my uh, chat box is uh, enabled similarly I can go for the video chatting and video chatting also uh, allow me to uh, work with the video option but obviously that option is available for uh, paid version only okay so this is simple software where I can use this whiteboard uh, for many many different ideas collection and uh, brainstorming and working together in the team okay so there are other options for whiteboards are also available but Miro is the best for now because it gives us many other options so you can see here different templates you can change your template at any point of time and you can use pre-filled uh, templates and just go ahead and uh, change the names and all this so you can see this is another uh, idea is being imported so once you have done your work you can uh, export these files into uh, image or any pdf file or any other option okay so this will give you a block which you can decide which picture or which figure or which uh, part of this whiteboard you want to export into the um, your uh, image okay but remember this will give us a small image only the high resolution image you need to upgrade your package so this is very simple handy tool for collaborative working but this is also very efficient and you know valuable software for drawing different uh, concepts while we are working with the systematic literature review and meta analysis and i always believe while we are working in the team this software can help us in many many ways and it gives us a lot more opportunity and flexibility in order to represent our ideas and share our, our ideas with our team members i hope this software uh, will add some you know benefits or advantages to your research and collaborative working so please go ahead use learn different options from this software and use it in your research that will give you another you know added advantage in your research and representing your ideas and sharing it with your team members and the whole world thank you very much and have a very nice day.